AI can now take just one photo and an audio clip and generate a extremely lifelike video. No motion data, no extra footage needed. This is truly next level. This particular model that you're gonna see some examples from is OmniHuman One. It comes from ByteDance, the Chinese company, and it creates hyper-realistic, obviously images, videos, moving pictures, uh, with just one image and and some audio that you upload to go with it. And it's crazy how accurate it is. And it's really crazy how accurately it portrays the motion, the body proportions, and the body expressions. So deepfakes required tons of reference data. This doesn't. So we've just crossed the line where AI can fabricate completely new realistic videos with almost no input. And that definitely is a game changer for content creation, for identity security, for digital trust. Today's video is brought to you by Brain.fm. It's focus music, it sounds great, it's science back. It really works. You can check it out for free using the link down below. So you gotta ask yourself, what does the future of media look like where anyone can turn a photo into a lifelike avatar instantly? Does it mean that video evidence is now meaningless? Have we been there for a while? You know, if anyone can create a convincing fake in a matter of seconds, where does that lead us? Now, two things are true all at the same time. You have creator-minded people who are salivating about this. They can't wait to get their hands on this and other models and tools and go to town. They wanna make some really amazing things. And there's probably some really legitimate use cases where they can do things that are useful, that are entertaining, that can make money. And then there's a whole nother group of people who are worried about authenticity collapsing. And both of these can be legitimate uh, pursuits and concerns all at the same time. You know, it certainly doesn't require a lot of imagination to realize that photo-based avatars could replace actors, influencers like me, even real people in video calls, in ads, in entertainment. Are we gonna see trust shatter with video authenticity? Is it gonna rewrite the rules for security and journalism and digital identity? Or are people just gonna get used to it? I talk about this a lot in the AI course. You know, there's all these different AI futures and we kind of go through each of them. And I think one thing that's for sure is that human created content, that's 100% pure, pure human, is going to be something that people seek after in the future. Um, it may be more valuable, it may become kind of a luxury because this sort of content creation is definitely gonna be commoditized. If you have an idea, you can just put it out there very easily using tools like this. But you know, not everyone can just go and craft an amazing piece of furniture. And in that same way, even if a robot can sculpt a sculpture or craft that amazing piece of furniture, having a real human artisan do it where it isn't 100% perfect, there's personality woven in and you saw the person do it maybe and you're willing to pay extra for that real human touch. Uh, I think there's a place for that in the future. But if you create content, you should definitely learn how to use tools like this before it's all over the place. And if you're concerned about AI deception, you're gonna to wanna to watch for new authentication tools. I think those are coming fast as well. In the short term, we're gonna see AI generated humans, humans dominating entertainment, advertising, media. It's gonna be everywhere. In the longer term, this kind of stuff, it's not just about the visuals. You know, we have AI agents coming down the pipeline and it's gonna be really hard to distinguish when things are digital, when they're on a screen, when you're in a virtual environment, what is fake and what is real so is the person in the meeting with you like we covered in a recent clip a real person or is it an ai avatar you know this stuff is going to be commonplace and it might be very hard to tell what you're interacting with like stop and think about that for a second if it's hard to tell who or what you're interacting with in an ad that's crazy or in a meeting that's crazy or even in politics crazy 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 take it from someone who knows tech is changing fast and AI is not just another tool, it's reshaping everything. The real question is, will you adapt or will you get left behind? My course, My AI Edge, is the course that gives you the strategy you need to stay ahead no matter where AI takes us next. Don't just watch the future, own your place in it. Check it out now at thegreatonboarding.com.